at this moment in time, nothing matters. I'd like you to start by focusing on your breath. And I invite you to begin by taking three deep breaths, filling your lungs completely with air as you inhale. And as you exhale, imagine breathing out all the anxiety and tension you've been holding on to. So now breathing in deeply and fully, filling your lungs with air and exhale, breathing out all anxiety and tension. And again, breathing in deeply and fully filling your lungs with air and breathing out all anxiety and tension. And one more time, breathing in deeply and fully filling your lungs with air and breathing out, releasing all anxiety and tension and stress as you exhale. From now on, breathing will be your anchor and will keep you rooted in the present moment, the moment of the now, the only moment that matters. When you focus on your breath, you will always focus on the present. Because you cannot breathe a past breath or a future breath. As we continue with this meditation, you may find your mind ruminating over memories or thoughts of the past, <clears throat> maybe about the things we should have said or done. If this happens, just be aware of it and let it be. Returning simply to observing what is, without getting hung up on anything. Let the thoughts come and go without getting attached to them or trying to chase them away. Just allow them to be whatever they are. Remember, if you let go a little, you'll have a little happiness. If you let go a lot, you'll have a lot of happiness. And if you let go completely, you will be free. Letting go begins with letting be. Now, as I begin the sound bath, I invite you now to envision the days of the future where you see your worries have been released, sense the freedom, the innocence, the ease that this letting go will bring. Let the healing vibrations take you to a place in your mind where you are completely relaxed, happy, and at peace with yourself.
In a moment, when I count up to five, you will find normal sensations returning to your body. And when I reach the end of the count, you will be awake, refreshed, relaxed, and completely at peace. One.
bring some awareness to the sounds around you and the surface beneath you. Two, I invite you to bring some gentle movement to your body. Three, your mind is clear and confident, emotionally calm and at peace. Four, you feel the strength of your confidence and you believe in yourself. And five, you are awake and energized. And when you're ready, you can take your time and gently open your eyes. That's all good. So this was a very short preview. Uh, I did it for 25 minutes only. I usually do this for an hour. Uh, it involves a lot more protocols, but this was just for demonstration purposes and to let you guys know uh, how frequencies will affect you on various levels. One disclaimer though, I should have said this in the beginning, but some, some of you, everybody's going to feel different though. So there's no one one feeling that you should be feeling. Some people might feel a little, little bit uh, disturbed uh, by certain sounds, but that's very normal. You have to just take it in and go along with the process. So yeah, so that was the demo from me. If you like to, if you would like to, to follow me on Instagram, my handle is Sleepless Buddha. Sleepless, uh, and you know, uh, I have sound baths every Friday. You, you guys are welcome to join me. So yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Do you have any uh, questions, comments? Yes, please. Yeah, yes, please. Sorry. Thank you. I want to ask like, how different it is to be doing here playing the drum. Oh, for me? Yeah, for me? Yeah. No, that's a very good question, actually. Uh, since this is my passion, and the reason why I do this is, is, is because, number one, all the frequencies affect me more since I'm playing this, especially with the drum. It's right next to my heart. So all the, so, so, so the drum beat that I was doing at 250 beats per minute, which is supposed to relax you, it, I'm directly receiving those five. Uh, those vibrations and same thing with the with the healing balls as well so i every time i conduct a sound bath i personally uh, get the most impact yes. No, no, I understand what you mean. So, so if you take it from, let's say, your own perspective, if you like a particular aspect. You know, if you have a hobby, let's say it's making movies, you know, you can you can actually do a lot lot of research online. You can do it yourself. Me personally, yes, I do do it commercially, but I do it mostly at my studios and DHA, and then I do it for schools and other organizations that would invite me to do this. You know, I'm not actively marketing myself. It's all by word of mouth. But if you want to perceive something in artificial intelligence. Just keep in mind that focus on one subject only, whether it be art, uh, there's so much to learn about art, whether it be making movies through artificial in intelligence, focus on that. I can understand that there's like a, so much information, there's information overload. So if you just break it down into what exactly you would want to do and just focus on that, um, you know, that'll, that'll help you. With. So I hope you, I answered your question. Yeah, thank you.
seen how it that people like at sound bath uh, um, adhd uh, you know like a, a lot of benefits to it so the research done is to, a lot of research for the so been written so so yes it does have a very side to your question in short okay. various aspects for depression for anxiety for ADHD you welcome yes so i'm uh, so yeah so my my uh, Yeah, I guess you know. My 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 mom is a healer. It's not like I got inspiration, you know. I, but at least through my mom, that things like that and um, you know, the art. One sound. You uncomfortable. One and I wait for a sound. Play the heart, the harmonious. If you're coming to me on a one-on-one -on -one session, uh, the first thing I would need to do is all that. Yes. Of course. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm not a trained uh, psychotherapist, but insofar as what the client is feeling, I am trained to to you know to guide them basically. Just a quick question. So um, the sound uh, uh, generates a uh, feeling of moving to it. Do do people also move, or is this meant to be you've got to? No, that's a great thing. Dancing is an aspect that that has. Uh, the shamanic aspects of yeah. of sound healing, and I think dancing is something that is wonderful. It's amazing. I'm I'm a very shy person, uh, so you know, like I mean, that is not something that I pursue. But yes, shamanic 
So I do shamanic sound bath as well. And in the sh in the shamanic sound bath, the whole point is to get into a state of trance. Hmm. Now, I haven't done this with any 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 dance instructor as such, but uh, you know, I, I mean, something I would love to explore that you know, like I mean, how the people will get into a state of trance and how how they can translate that into movement. You know, like the dervishes, mm -hmm. like the fakirs, mm -hmm. like uh, uh, in South America you have shamans, mm -hmm. and you know, in Bunza you have shamans. So it's about getting into that state of mind and then translating it into movement. Mm -hmm. You know, like I mean, that'd be quite an yeah. intense thing. But you would need to have people who actually understand the concept before introducing this, because this is the next. This is kind of like you know, um, on the. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I get so Sh Sevan Sharif, for yes. example, Dhamal. Exactly. So I've seen exactly. that over exactly. there. Exactly. And, and it exactly. just it translates to exactly. And it just drums right over exactly. there. It's exactly. It's fascinating. Yeah. So the protocols of drums that I've learned in shamanic healing can be adopted towards free flowing, mm -hmm. uh, free flow. The main thing is to have an intention before you're doing anything. Uh -huh. Whether it's art, it's dancing, whether it's this, you can do it for fun here. Yeah. Uh, but if you have an intention, a near. Uh, that actually, uh, so yeah, anyway, it's quite good, yeah. <laughs> That's a very good question. So what I do is I play my energy first and, uh, and I was doing for before uh, with the with the session, so these two books that I have uh, there, you know, they have specific. If this is five words, and 